Hello there and welcome to Upper 6 Further Maths. Here we're solving geometric problems related to complex numbers. So we can answer questions from exercise 1G. So let's just remind ourselves of the patterns to do with taking roots of complex numbers. If we take a cube root of a complex number, then the points um, on the Argan diagram form a perfect equilateral triangle. So you can see there how the nth roots of a complex number would be linked in with geometric problems where you've got a perfect equilateral triangle. Same with fourth roots, so you get a perfect equilateral triangle in blue there. With fourth roots you'll of course get a perfect square. If you plot all of the roots going round a Argan diagram you'll get a perfect square. It might be on its side like a little diamond like that, but yeah, perfect square on its side. Same with fifth roots as well, just take each root and add 2 pi by 5 to get your perfect pentagon. Same with sixth roots as well, just add 2 pi by 6 going round the circle on the argument to get your perfect hexagon. And then the last one here, the heptagon, just keep on adding 2 pi by 7 onto the argument and that will give you your perfect heptagon. So let's see a question in action then. The point root 3, 1 lies on one vertex of an equilateral triangle. The centre of the triangle is at the origin. Find the coordinates of the other vertices of the triangle. So what we've effectively got is we've got root 3, 1 on the Argan diagram. So the first thing we're going to do to make this into a complex number problem is to write it as a complex number. But then we're going to write it in modulus argument form because that's easier to deal with when we're rotating it around the circle. Because to rotate it around the circle and make an equilateral triangle, you just need to add 2 pi by 3 to the argument to get to the next one. So that would be 5 pi by 6. Add another 2 pi by 3 onto the argument and that will get you to 9 pi by 6. But that's outside of the range from minus pi to pi, so we'll need to do a correction on that to minus pi by 2. So these are our three roots then. What we'll now need to do is expand the modulus argument form to get the Cartesian form of the complex numbers and then just rewrite the Cartesian form of the complex numbers as coordinates. So root 3 plus i minus root 3 plus i and minus 2i. So there we have it, that's the answer to this question. We've found the other vertices of the equilateral triangle minus root 3, 1, and 0, minus 2, making ourselves a perfect equilateral triangle there. Let's move on to question 2 of exercise 1G, a little bit of a challenging problem, that's why I've given it, so I've put it in this video. So pause the video and give this question a go. Okay, so let's have a go at this question here now. Now, it's a different question to the one we've just answered because this question says find the coordinates of the vertices of an equilateral triangle with centre 2, 3. So that's 2, 3. So centre here and vertex 3, minus 2. So that's down here. Now, what we're going to need to do first is work out the vector from the centre to the vertex and then rotate that around the centre by 2 pi by 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform this question into having a centre 0, 0, and then this vector is going to be right by 1, down by 5. So right by 1, down by 5. So it's actually going to be at a coordinate 1, minus 5 down here. And I'll rotate this around the circle, and then I'll just add 2 plus 3i onto my final answers. So, here we go. We're going to take 1 minus 5i and first work out the modulus, which will be root 26. And the argument here, let's just do tan inverse. It's going to be minus um, cos minus uh, 1.37 plus i sine minus 1.37. And now we'll just add 2 pi by 3 onto the argument. So the next answer is going to be cos and add 2 pi by 3. So the next one is going to be 0 0.72 plus i sine 
0 0.72 and then we'll add 2 pi by 3 round again and that will give us Uh, so let's just work that out. Two point eight two. So root twenty six bracket cos two point eight two plus I sine two point eight two. Okay, so those are the relative positions when we just add around 2.8, uh, sorry, 2 pi by 3 around the circle. So now we've got to find the vertex um, from the relative position of 2 plus 3i. Well, the first thing we'll do then is we'll rewrite out both of these as um, complex numbers. So let's expand the brackets on the modulus argument form. And the first one's going to be 3.83 plus uh, 3.63i and the second one is going to be minus 4.84 plus 1.61i okay so now what I've got to do is I've now got to add 2, 2 plus 3i onto these coordinates here to turn them into a relative, so to turn them into the vertex in the original question, because at the moment they're just relative from 2, 3. So adding on 2 to this one here will give us 5.83, and adding on 3 to this one will give us 6.36i. And adding on 2 to this one will give us 2, minus 2.84, add and 3 to this one 4.61i so there we have it the two coordinates are going to be 5.83 uh, 6.36 and the second coordinate is going to be minus 2.84 4.61 and there we are quite a difficult question that one so uh, those are the answers to question two then. Have a go at plenty of the questions from exercise 1G on page 26. Make sure you have a go at the, um, the uh, exam style questions and the problem solving questions. And hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks very much for watching.